Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart can never find true happiness in their relationship because any successful relationship is based on two things, respect for the person you're with and respect for yourself. And Kristen Stewart has demonstrated that she has neither of those things. Let's look. If she had respect for Robert Pattinson, she wouldn't have cheated on him. It's pretty simple. She may have gained it or perceived him as having earned it since then, but the case remains that they were together for a really long time and we have photos so strike one strike two Kristen Stewart has no self-respect if she did she would probably hire an acting coach uh, hire a personal stylist maybe try on something that isn't a white v-neck and she would probably wash her hair more often this may seem superficial I mean they say how you look on the outside is a reflection of how you feel about yourself and based on most of the pictures I've seen of her, she must feel like walking human filth 90% of the time. I don't know her, but that's how she looks. What do I think about Robert Pattinson, Chris and Stewart's saga? I think it's lame. The cheating Stewart has been a polarizing figure in the entertainment arena. On the one hand, you have Pattinson's diehard twihards. And on the other hand, you have Stewart's ambiguous and obstinate personality. These two forces do not connect. However, against popular opinion, Stewart and Pattinson merged back together like a quantum entanglement, like a faux romantic novel, like the roman cliff of Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor. Do we at Celeb Dirty Laundry believe this is BS? No, we don't. I read an article a while ago about Stewart and Pattinson's forced romance. See, the film's production company has something called a marketing phase. The actors of the film have to be in a perfect symbiosis for the interviews. Now, the question remains, were Pattinson and Stewart forced into a reconciliation, or were they forced into an artificial relationship by Summit, the production company of Breaking Dawn Part 2? The answer is up in the air like the breasts of a Kardashian, and only time will tell whether the breaking dawn of this new relationship is one for the record books. Hi, this is Jeannie from CDO, and we're talking about Rob and Kristen's day. And I wanted to talk about whether Rob has finally moved on with Sienna Miller's sister, Savannah Miller. The two were caught. Um, canoodling pretty close in the NYC. Kristen was at a Florence Men Machine concert with her dad, and a lot of people are speculating that the two aren't back together, but Rob has finally decided to move on. I am going to disagree. I think Kristen and Rob are still together. I think they're staying away from each other because of the publicity and probably because Summit told them to just back off until the red carpet and promotions were breaking dawn. That is what I choose to believe. I don't know if it's true. I just think that Rob's known Savannah for a really long time. He and Sienna and Tom are really good friends. So it was just two friends hanging out, sitting close at a nightclub because it's really loud in there and you have to stand close to someone if you want them to hear you. So that's the story I'm sticking with. And yeah, Rob and Kristen are definitely still together. So thanks so much. Keep reading. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. that Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart and all her awkward self are back together and that their relationship has been mended really proves one thing to the world. That vampire love is forever. That's all. It's immortal. Enjoy Breaking Dawn! Humans are a social species. We're followers. We have a few leaders. These days, um, we've left, most of us have left the uh, tribal communities, and um, celebs, to a great extent, replace our traditional. Uh, they, they occupy the traditional role of leaders. Okay, so we really revere our celebs, and even if we don't revere them, we're obsessed with them. Anyway, on to Kristen Stewart. Why is she hated? 
Why is she going to remain forever the unforgiven? It's really simple. Kristen is a celebrity, uh, I guess by choice. And as such, uh, she definitely uh, gave up a lot of rights to privacy and the normal considerations that private, simpler people are uh, entitled to, or at least society sort of presumes they're entitled to. In Kristen's case, her celebrity is uh, attributed to Twilight, clearly, because without that, she's nothing, and after that, she will be nothing, in this uh, mm -hmm. author's opinion. In any case, why does everybody, not everybody, but why do so many people hate Kristen? Why is she encountering such flack? Is it because she cheated? No, Hollywood has no standards. The ethical standards of Hollywood are uh, non-existent. As a matter of fact, the standard in Hollywood is to be completely unethical. Whatever you do, it's basically okay, it's forgiven, um, it's overlooked, you know, and, and that's all there is to it, basically, as far as I can see. However, what Kristen did is terrible. She didn't cheat on Robert Pattinson. Bella cheated on Edward. Bella broke Edward's heart. This is unforgivable, and um, I believe it will remain unforgiven.